welcome back okay so i'm in a bit of a kind of like a weird angle right now no makeup on and the reason for that is because i did sit down to do my makeup today but i realized that i kind of wanted to rotate switch some things out that i've had in my makeup drawer and so i figured let's film it okay <laughs> so yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'm just gonna go through everything that i have in my makeup drawer right now which i have open you probably can't see because i have this tray here but i have my makeup drawer open and i'm just going to go through each of my trays figure out what i want to continue to use over the next week or so and figure out what I want to switch out and then we'll just go and replace it from some other stuff in my stash or collection I should say so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm just going to take out each tray so you can actually see what I'm talking about and go through it and just kind of you know and I if you hear some noise outside it's because there's some building going on in the back so yeah i apologize for that if you do but this drawer basically has my foundations and concealers i also threw my eyeshadow primers in here which i don't know why they don't go in there but the foundations that i've been using recently this black opal true color pore perfecting liquid foundation i have the shade beautiful bronze and i actually really like this foundation but i also noticed that I prefer it with a more moisturizing um, primer because when I used my mattifying primer, I was just like, it was too matte. <laughs> so it could have been the primer. I don't know. But I really, really like this foundation. Um, I think I'm going to keep it in my drawer for now. This one is my Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup and super duper cheap from Walmart. I have backups of this because it's really nice for those days when you want kind of like a more lightweight coverage, not anything heavy, just something kind of light. But it does provide decent coverage, but it's just light. It's not heavy at all. So I like to keep this in my drawer just for those days. I think the one I'm going to take out is the Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I have Spice Toffee. And I actually really like this foundation as well, but it's kind of, I don't know, it kind of depends on different primers I use, different powders I use, how I feel about it. So since it's inconsistent for me, I'm going to just take this out because I want to replace it with something else. And these two I'll just keep in here for now. For um, concealers, I do have my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. This one is the shade Golden Caramel. And this cut, this concealer is very nice. Really like it, but this shade is a little bit more olive. It looks kind of olive tone to me, and I don't really, you know, prefer that type of tone under my eyes. You know, I'm not olive, so I'm gonna replace this. Um, I also have my Juvia's place, y'all. <laughs> to just keep this in my everyday drawer because I love this concealer okay and I'm always reaching for it if something goes awry the Juvia's Place concealer in the shade 11 it will fix me right on up okay so I always keep that now I tried out these Superstay um, concealers from Maybelline it's full coverage this is deep bronze 65 and this is a shade that I actually use to cover my dark circles before I put on my foundation and it's, you know, it's great coverage wise. It really is, but it's a little bit drier than I like. I don't know if maybe I just got an old one or something, but it's not as kind of like moisturizing as I prefer. But yeah, it's just like, I don't know. I mean, it's okay. It's just, y'all can't even see that because it really is my skin tone and I really, really like using it for covering my dark circles. But yeah, it's just not as hydrating or moisturizing as I would like for under my eyes. That's just, it's just a personal preference. So I'm going to switch that out. And so those are the only concealers I had in here. So I'm definitely going to grab another concealer or two. Now, <laughs> I put this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion in here. Like, uh, 
I don't know, probably a couple of months ago, honestly, just because I wanted to try the whole, you know, kind of like highlighting underneath my foundation, trying to give myself that natural glow. And I never, ever reach for it. Never use it, never try it. But I'm going to leave it in here because I want to try it, okay? It's just like um, kind of a, like an, an illuminating like lotion type thing. And the two eyeshadow primers that I have in here are my P. Louise, which I love. So I'm keeping that in there. And I have my Pretty Vulgar, which I got in my BoxyCharm. And it's actually a very nice eyeshadow primer. It doesn't give any type of like opaque base or anything it's truly just a primer um so i think i think i'm gonna keep that for now i'm not gonna worry about switching that out okay this next tray i have in here really just keeps my brow product and my eyeliners my everyday black pencil eyeliners and my mascara i've been using my um it cosmetic superhero mascara really like this a lot so i'm not going to switch this out yet i might grab another one but i'm not going to switch it out i've been using my elf lock on liner um and brow pomade for a while now i was using my la girl slim shady pencil but i went back to this for my brows and i really like this stuff but i feel like it's kind of getting dried out so i think i need to replace it I know I've had it for quite a while, but it does kind of seem like it's getting kind of nasty and dried out in there. And I know there are products that you can add to kind of like moisturize and, you know, add the liquid or moisture back into stuff like that. But I don't have it, whatever it is. <laughs> and I also just have my Wet n Wild Concealer. You guys know I use this stuff to clean up around my brows because it's kind of close to my skin tone. So I do like to use that. That never never la never leaves, never changes. So this next tray is my um like moisturizers, primers, and serums. So I have in here this Mamond. <laughs> this is the Rose Water Gel Cream. You guys know I love this stuff. I've been using it for quite a while. Oh, I love it, love it. It smells just like roses, but I'm going to switch it out because I've been using it for a while. I also have been using the Pure Heels Centella 90 Ampoule because um, it's, you know, supposed to be good for your skin. Like, what does it say? Relieves irritations of sensitive skin. It strengthens the skin barrier. So, you know, that's definitely always got to be good, but I want to try out something else, so I'm going to switch that out. I just threw this in here to kind of use it, maybe like on my hands and some dry areas. This is from M Greengrass. It's CBD head to toe cream. And I got this in a monthly subscription box. I'm sure it was my BoxyCharm because that's the only one I have right now. And I actually really like this stuff. It's not as, I guess, creamy as I would like it to be, but it's a nice moisturizer. It really is. And I like the fact that it doesn't smell like anything. So, yeah, I do like that. I'm going to keep that in here. So, the rest of these are primers. <laughs> I pulled this primer. This is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas sample that I've been trying to use up forever and have not been able to do so. I don't know why I just do not reach for this when I'm going for a primer. So, I'm going to switch it out because I'm assuming that means I don't want to use it. <laughs> Now, I tried out this Rimmel Stay Matte Makeup Primer. It's, uh, you know, supposed to be mattifying. And I don't like it. I mean, I only used it one time. And that one time that I used it, I didn't like it. And I don't understand why. Because there's nothing crazy about it. So, I'm going to keep this in here. I'm going to use it again. Just to see if maybe it was the foundation that I used or the moisturizer that I used that made me not like it. I need to try it a couple more times to make sure I don't like it. I also have in here my Tarte Double Duty Beauty. This is the base tape hydrating primer, y'all. This stuff is bomb, 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 bomb. So I'm gonna keep that in there. I think I'm gonna pull one more primer though. I actually put this Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer in here love this stuff if you need to mattify your skin 
if you're very oily or if you need to, you know, kind of fill in your pores and stuff, want to smooth out your complexion, this stuff is the bomb. I mean, it's amazing. But I realized that right now I don't really need this. It, when I used it, like I said, it mattified my face too much for me right now, you know, during these summer months and stuff like that. I'm just, I haven't been that as oily as I can be on occasion. So I was just too mattified. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that back for now. I don't need that. So I do need to grab another moisturizer and a couple more, or at least one more primer um, to put back in here. Okay, so this next tray has some of my powder products in here. And I did pull, well, let me just start with my face powder. I've been using this J-Cat Aqua Assurance. I tried this not too long ago, and I've been using it ever since. It is a really, really, really nice powder. It's like a, a powder foundation, but I use it just to set my face. And honey, it works amazingly. I like it a lot. But I'm going to switch this out because I want to try some other things that I have that I know I want to try. For under my eyes, I've been using my L'Oreal Infallible. This stuff is perfect. I love the tone of it. What is this? 600 Golden Beige. I love the tone of this stuff. Oh my gosh. You want to talk about mattifying under your eyes and just looking nice and smooth. This stuff is great. But I'm switching it out because I have some new stuff I want to use. I got these two samples in here. I got some sample powders of the Laura Mercier powders one is they're both translucent but <laughs> translucent <laughs> they're both translucent but one of them is like a um glow powder so i don't know if i'm gonna try that one out but so many people talk so highly of the laura mercier powders and stuff that i want to try it out without buying it so i'm glad i got these samples from sephora and i'm going to go ahead and try those out at some point um i also have this sephora bronzed bronzer in here this one is in Ibiza. Very, very nice bronzer, you guys. I have been using this a bit, and I like it a lot. Uh, I'm going to keep that in there, just maybe. I know I have another bronzer that I want to use, but I'm going to keep that in there just in case. This is Revolution, one of their blushes in Rose Kiss. Oh, so gorgeous. So pretty. So pretty. That color is so gorgeous. I'm going to switch it out because I have a lot of some other blushes that I want to play with. Minted. This is the Minted Buried Away. Ah, uh, yo. Look at this color. Oh, this is so gorgeous. So, so pretty. I kind of want to keep it. I kind of want to keep it. I'm going to keep it in there for now. And this Sleek. This is a trio uh, in the shade Flame. So this is a sleek blush palette. Those are the colors in there. Beautiful, beautiful colors as well. Uh, I don't know. Am I going to keep this one? I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to keep that for a hot minute, okay? So that is it for that tray. This tray just basically keeps like my, if I can get it out. Ugh. This tray here just has my setting sprays, my uh, MAC Fix Plus and Lavender. Y'all know I love that stuff. This one is my Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. Love that as well. And this is my Mario Badescu Spray. Um, you can use this kind of like to refresh your skin, refresh your face. Uh, add moisture after you powder and stuff like that. But honestly, I just really use this when I'm spraying my brush and stuff. If you're ever wondering when I use shimmers on my lid and stuff, like what is she spraying on her brush? It's usually my Mario Badescu <laughs> spray. Because um, I don't really like using setting sprays when I spray my brush for my eyeshadows. Just because I don't want it to like burn my eyes. So that's why. I prefer to use the Mario Badescu for that. Um, I do have a tray in here with like my everyday lip products, glosses and liners and stuff that I leave in here. Do not take them out because I'm really like a liner and gloss 
type of chick you know that's just kind of like what i like to use when i don't want to put a lot of color on my lips so my easy go-to of course you guys know is my ColourPop lip liners i have my ellery one and then i have my shayla bff4 and then i have like my ColourPop and shayla uh lipstick liquid lipstick and then i usually top it off with my elf gloss this one is you know mocha twist <laughs> it's just an easy go-to now these two glosses that i just got and the lip liner that i just got um from the tammy and revolution collection definitely a nice new addition to my everyday lip gloss stash okay so that's staying in there as well <laughs> For show okay so i basically have taken out all of the items that i want to replace now we can go ahead and go to my oh you know what i need to go through i almost forgot i also have like some face palettes over here that i've been kind of using or not using as well i have my black radiance true complexion contour palette this is a staple if you are a woman of color honey these are a staple for your makeup collection because they work so well and I typically just try to keep this handy. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that around. I got my two new Tammy face palettes. Ah, something new for me to play with. I really, really like these face palettes. I used um, the lighter one in my video except for the highlighter i used the highlighter in the darker one so with this one i did i used the bronzer and the blush very very pretty and then i used the highlighter out of this one in my video i think i'm going to keep these handy as well because i do want to play with those some more i also have my beige cosmetics belgian waffle highlighter palette Oh, gorgeous. The highlighters in here are beautiful. So I'm probably going to keep that handy too. And this is the Bellini blush palette. Oh, you guys see those blushes in there? So pretty. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep these handy as well. See, yeah, that's my problem. I have too much stuff that I like to keep handy. <laughs> Um, I have this, I have a couple of new items actually that I'm going to keep in here also. This is a Revolution Pro 4K blush palette in peach. It's not new, but it's new to my collection because I ordered this off of Beauty Bay. I don't know who I saw with this, but I thought it was so pretty and wanted to try it out. So that's what it looks like. You know, just some peachy type blushes or whatever this one uh, has like a swirl in it oh okay let me see i don't know if you can see that but it has like a little bit of shimmer let me see if i can swatch a couple of these okay i'm not sure how they're going to be on my skin tone but yeah oh those are pretty so this is kind of like a shimmery, like blush topper, it looks like. Very, very pretty. This one here. Yeah, it's like they're, they're powdery. You know, they're kind of powdery, a little dusty. But, you know, they definitely have the pigment. You can see there. Definitely have the pigment. Very pretty. So I'm going to try this out on my face. Revolution Pro 4K Blush Palette in Peach. I also picked up this Ofra On The Glow palette. I've been wanting this for the longest. And it went on sale on Ulta, I think, for like, like half price. It's a very, very nice like highlighter palette. There's bronzer in here and stuff. But, of course, the bronzer ain't going to work for me. But these highlighters will work, okay? <laughs> so, I did pick this up. Very, very pretty. has just so many different colors of highlighters and things like that i mean oh so gorgeous so yeah i'm gonna play with this another highlighter palette and then my natasha denona diamond and blush this one is in the shade citrus 
oh you guys know how much i love 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 these colors love this palette i've used it a couple of times really really enjoy it hopefully you can see that and the light's not washing it out too much but really really enjoy this and i am going to keep this close by okay so let's go ahead and just go to my stash and pick out some replacements for these items that i took out okay you guys so let's go ahead and pick out a serum because i am going to put this pure heels um serum back for now so let me just stick this one back for right now um before i pick out a new one uh oh i have some face oils here should i do a face oil i'm not really into face oils you guys but i do have them so maybe i should um use it this one is the elemis pro collagen rose facial oil uh you know what let me go ahead and pull this just so i can try something something different okay but i do need a <laughs> i do need a serum what is this age away replenishing cream uh, stay focused stay focused um this good molecules discoloration correcting serum this stuff is really really good i used like almost half of this really really like it um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this again because i think i want to use this for a bit longer maybe i can finish it okay so i need a moisturizer i just used the uh, rose water cream which i do need to put back so i'm going to be putting this one back the rose water gel cream so maybe i will use a regular like cream type moisturizer for the next couple of weeks or week or so this one is the juno and co moonshine miracle cream i got this not too long ago really really like this stuff so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pull this this stuff is kind of thick but i do want to uh, use some more of this okay so we'll just go ahead and stick the water cream back in there and let's move over here to primers i haven't used my elf primers in quite a while should i pull it no i want something moisturizing now this perlise matcha and green tea this is an antioxidant priming moisturizer so this is a two-in-one and it says it's lightweight oil free so it's a water cream but i know that i do like this so i think i'm going to pull this one and uh one more one more moisturizing primer maybe i'll go with a good molecules one this is silicone free priming moisturizer so this is another two in one very very good stuff i've used a nice amount of this i don't know if you can see but i've used about half of this really like this so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pull that as well okay you guys so now i'm over here at the foundations and i know i wanted to pull at least one new foundation to try that i haven't tried yet and i think the only new foundation i have right now is this iman this is a luxury concealing foundation oh okay it looks a little light but <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and try this out since it is new i just got it and i'll see how i like this now i need to go ahead and replace these two concealers that i'm taking out this first one here the maybelline superstay this one is a shade like i said that i use for my dark circles so that is a darker shade for me so i need to replace it with a dark shade as well uh what is this the nyx yeah the nyx hd this works really really well for concealing my dark dark circles so i might just go ahead and pull this one again since i know that works well for that okay so i can just put this one back in there and i also want just one more regular concealer i am going to be putting back this covergirl like i said it's a little bit more olive tone than i like um i haven't tried out at least i don't think i have these are some essence concealers that i bought 
and this is camouflage matte concealer from essence i do like the shade the color of this so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this i don't recall using it but i'm gonna pull this one just in case okay that's it for the concealers um what else do i need to replace powder i need to replace a face powder two face powders actually so I'm going to come down here to my powders and see, oh, you know what? I know, where is it at? I bought these new Iman powders to try. So one of them, which I think is this one, Let's see if I can open this. This one, you know, is for me to set my face with. So yeah, I'm gonna pull this one to replace the J-Cat Aqua Assurance. That color looks so nice, you guys. I can't wait to try it. And what shade is this? Earth Dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the Aqua Assurance back. And then this other Iman powder that I picked up to try is a lighter one. Yeah. This is a lighter shade for me to use under my eyes, to set under my eyes. Hopefully it works out. Hmm, what color is this? Clay medium. So yeah, we're gonna try this out. Packaging is really cute, isn't it? And we're gonna go ahead and put the infallible powder back. So I do have one blush that I need to put back, this Revolution. I don't know if I'm going to pull another blush though just because i have quite a few blushes um, that i'm working on yeah i don't know if i'm gonna pull another blush or not um, yeah i don't i'm not really in the mood to pull or pick a new blush I'm really not so I think I'm just gonna use the blushes and the blush palettes that I already have out because yeah I'm not really in the mood to pick another blush now I know some of you guys hate it when I don't pull palettes even though I've been doing horribly when it comes to using the palettes that I pull in my shop my stash so I figured I'd just show you guys some of the latest palettes that I've purchased as well as the palettes that I have pulled to try to use <laughs> whether or not I get to them who knows but I figured I'd just go ahead and show you guys what I have in my little cubby here that I would like to use um you know pretty soon this one is a profusion neon palette it's not new but I do want to use this um very very pretty it just has like neon shades in here you guys know these palettes are like five bucks and i really really want to try it out maybe to create some type of funky neon look i picked up these two palettes from cara beauty these are two new palettes that they came out with this one is beach days very very cute artistry on here these are the colors in here oh my gosh isn't she gorgeous so pretty and this one is summer stunna summer stunna okay and i really like the colors in this one as well that green and that beautiful kind of like deep deep purple very pretty i also got the um, kaleidos escape pod i just got this in the mail uh yesterday i believe very very cute it came in like the cutest little box packaging you guys I mean, look at this. Isn't this so cute? So, so pretty. But I know you guys have seen this a million times, but I went ahead and picked it up. So it finally came. Absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. This might be the next palette that I use just because it's new, but I'm not sure. Now, my girl, Lily, oh my goodness, she sent me this. This is Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. This will be my replacement blush palette, actually, for my shop mustache. Oh, I know. It's nothing new. You guys have seen it a million times, but I have been wanting this blush and bloom palette for ages, ever since it came out, but I just... Y'all know me. I just refuse to pay the price. <laughs> oh my 
girl Lily sent it to me and oh my gosh it's so gorgeous so yeah this will be my replacement blush now that I think about it so let me put this over to the side I also have these um what is it Milani salt and pepper palettes that they came out with I picked these up a while ago because they went on sale on Ulta so this is the very necessary and this is what the very necessary um, palette looks like really really cute and this one is hot cool and vicious and so this is what that one looks like a little bit more toned down but still pretty nonetheless this flower bomb palette i actually pulled this to use in my last shot mustache never used it but y'all this palette is so pretty i really i need to move these brushes but i really really need to use it it's so freaking pretty but this is from midas cosmetics the flower bomb so i put that in my little cubby this here is the amoris femme fatale 32 shade eyeshadow palette I have quite a few Amoris palettes, and this one is not necessarily one that's like, oh my gosh, it's so colorful, but it's beautiful. If you look at the colors in here, it is absolutely gorgeous. I also put my Violet Voss Sweet Violet, not Sweet Violet, Sweet Violet Sun Fun Sized palette in here. I can't talk. Really, really pretty. Gorgeous purple palette. So I put that in there. I put this in here for a day when I just feel like doing a boring eye look. <laughs> this is my Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes Palette, okay? I mean, look at it. I mean, you can see why I said that. <laughs> but I want to use it. I want to use it. So, yeah, that'll be a very, very neutral, neutral day. Uh, this is a newer palette that I got from Makeup Addiction. This is the Holy Glow fantasy and i'm pretty sure i'm just going to use this like as shimmers on my lid because i'm adventurous but i don't necessarily wear like green or super yellow or super purple highlighter but these um these colors oh my goodness they are like really really pigmented okay so this is like an awkward angle for me, but let me see if I can get some of this on here for you guys. Yeah. You see how pigmented that is? Gorgeous shimmers for the lid, okay? So pretty. This is a newer purchase as well, the Milani Gilded Jewel. I didn't even know anything about this, but I saw it on um, Ulta, and I was like, hey, let me try it out. <laughs> Even though Milani shadows are extremely hit or miss for me, you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. So I want to go ahead and try this out. Another newer purchase from me from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. This is the Meadow palette. I like her palettes. They're very sturdy, you know, nice, nicely weighted. It feel like quality. And her palettes like this one, it is one where you can pop the shadows out because they are magnetic. I really, really like that about palettes that, you know, where you can pop the shadows out. I don't know why, because I really don't pop them out, but this, I like this color scheme. Very, very pretty. This gold down here, oh, this green, this blue, it's really, really pretty. And I did pick up all of these palettes. I think I got, yeah, I got these three um, makeup addiction palettes in one order so this one is the sinful eyes now this palette is really really pretty you see those colors in there it's just a very unique color story to me and i find that i am drawn to unique color stories this one is gorgeous this one is a new palette that i bought from a black owned um, makeup brand you know i've been on the hunt for different black owned makeup brands that i could support and this one is girl meets makeup and which palette is this this is gloomy this is the gloomy palette she has a a bunch and i mean a bunch of other palettes that i want to um pick up 
but this is one of the or the only one that was not sold out <laughs> so this is the color scheme in here so pretty isn't it pretty very very pretty so hmm i might be using this palette next honey i don't know but i know i'm gonna put some makeup on my face today and then i have here my pat mcgrath this is the divine rose 2 my box is a little bit wonky i don't know who put my box together but i feel like they were rushing but the packaging gorgeous i know you guys have seen this a bazillion times so you really don't need to see mine but i'm gonna show it to you anyway you know pat mcgrath gorgeous packaging and these are the shadows for this divine rose too so so pretty so yeah it's like by the time i got mine i was so far on a late bus and had seen like five million different looks well <laughs> as many looks as you can do with this palette that it's like the excitement has pretty much died down for me on this so you guys can let me know if you want to see me do a look with that palette but because otherwise honey i am in no rush at this point but yeah so these are just the palettes that i have um in my accessible cubby to reach for so any of these could possibly pop up in a video uh coming soon okay so i'm just going to go ahead and throw all of my replacement items in my drawer and i will be good to go So that's it you guys for this week's makeup choices hopefully you had a good time shopping with me and kind of checking out what is new in my collection thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video